Hello, C Block. How are you guys? I find that usually if I don't drink enough water, I die. But if I wanted a more serious answer, <laughs> which one? <was, laughs> um, I'm a gin drinker. So I've been making loads of cocktails recently. So um, I'm kind of a bit impartial for uh, a sour, a whiskey sour, or potentially even a Negroni. That, I, I can't go out for one pint. It has to be like 10, you know? So I got to start on beers because if I went out and I drank 10 cocktails, <laughs> I'd probably just piss myself. <laughs> um, at the moment, um, the current project which I am working on and I'm releasing are all kind of based around that kind of garage punk, garage rock thing which has been going on for the last couple of years. Bands like Waves, bands like Shame, bands like... Fontaine's DC or uh, Idols and bands such as that or even something a bit more glam like Walt Disco um, in which it's aggressive, it's post-punky. Every time I release a small body of work it's just drawing from one influence that I have and then just spilling out content over that, over that influence. I've got lots of influences but they don't necessarily line up to what I'm releasing at the moment which yeah, it is what it is, really. Well, I've just released um, my first single in about a year called Live, Laugh, Love. And this is the new direction in which I'm going in. I've got a brand new song coming out in the next couple of months, looking at around about September for that release. Uh, two weeks ago, I was also in the studio and I recorded a bunch of other new songs. So... This year is pretty much my year. It's just going to be slam, 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 releasing events, content, the whole shebang. I keep touching my mic, I'm sorry. You've got Moon Club, you've got Porters, you've got Club 29, you've got all the classic venues which are just keep pumping out all these amazing events with all these amazing artists, really. Um, as far as anything that I can say which is new, which you guys might not have heard of. I think I'm the wrong person to ask, to be honest. <laughs> I get dragged to places which I don't remember because I'm too pissed. And I'm just like, where was that place I went to? <laughs> this is literally the biggest event that I've ever organized, the biggest thing that I've ever organized. My scope was more than just musicians playing a 30 minute set and then going home. I wanted to make something that was, that was more memorable. And so I had this idea of just putting on, putting on a variety performance. I would get a, a mixture of different performers and I'd get a, a night which is themed around this kind of 60s vintage rock and roll thing. And then I had these circus performers and then we've had a venue which had a big tent in it and we had a beautiful night in which everyone could just come down, let their hair down, and just experience something which was more than just music. Uh, probably Wally. Wally's adorable. Me and some friends re-watched High School Musical again a few months back. That's probably not up in my top ten. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. See, I'm a big fan of the French et, so like silhouette or cigarette. I'm also a big fan of the word flesh. Um, but I know some people find that a little bit disconcerting, like the word moist or whatever. Um, flesh. So you can find tickets on Eventbrite. Um, there's a link through all of my social media, you can find them all of them. Or you can just come down on the day, tickets are 11 pounds, 5 p.m. is the time to get down, really. Um, and then, yeah, we've got a little film crew down, thank you to c -Blog. And generally, it's just gonna be a night of, of <laughs> debauchery and revelry.